Hello and welcome to 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. I'm done with this game right here. I wanted to do a send off before I close this out. I'm to the point where I'm going to the wasteland and lighting fires in the middle of the night just to try to draw as many zombies as possible. And it's not working out very well because there isn't enough zombies. The downtown areas on this map are kind of small if you take a look. This is the wasteland I've got to work with. This one's pretty much the best. I hang out down here and have them come at me. But there isn't enough zombies. I want more. So I'm going to start over. But before that, I thought I'd show off the nice little base that I've put together in the meantime. I've spent a fair bit of time on this one, unlike the smaller bunker that I made. This one I'm quite proud of, especially with the clock tower that we've got up here. That took a little bit of resources. So I wanted to record this for posterity, since when new alphas come out, your old save files are pretty much gone. This is the best way I've found to record and document my creations. Came out really good, too. I'm happy with the new painting tools that lets me paint entire surfaces. That made painting that clock tower much easier instead of a nightmare of having to paint every single individual square. That's a nightmare and a half. Here's the courtyard. It's a bit of a pain to get the truck to park here. I didn't plan that out very well, but eh, it works. Shut the gate here so if we have any visitors while I'm giving the tour, they got a bang on that to get through to us. Here's the garden area. Now, my friends all say they don't particularly care for the new farming system where you punch it, you get more, but you also have a 50% chance to get the seed back. I actually find I like that better because that helps me decide, okay, I harvested this much, I need to plant this many more. And I'm low on one thing so I can replant. I think it works better. I can certainly understand why the developers did it. And I'm a fan of it, although my friends are not. Let's go up onto the top here. Have a nice view, look around. I wanted to try to make something other than a square, so I made... I'm not quite sure what shape this is. A pentagon? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five shapes, so this would be a pentagon. So I've made the pentagon. Okay, maybe not really, but close enough. I'm really glad they added that clock to the game assets. They being the fun pimps who made this game. Yeah, that is a nice clock tower. I'm quite happy with that. Also made a bit of imaginary watering systems here. It came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Here's the clock tower. It's a ways up to the top, that's for darn sure. We have the view of the entire area. I purposely made it so that you could see over every ledge, except for those right there. There wasn't too much to be done about that, but it's made so that you could have a good view of the surrounding area. 
I'm quite proud of this. It's got some roof access here, in case I need to get up here and repair, in case some birds spit at it. Or if I just want to come up to the very top, enjoy the sky, have a look around. Alright. Let me just power down the stairs here. And I'll show you the inside. Here's my truck. I just got back from a trip to the wasteland with the most important thing possible. Potted plants. It's got a little bit of a bunker design here. These are supposed to be air vents. This is my red day tracker. I've got it set to five days plus two, up to two more in random variants. So I need to keep track. Should be due and maybe as early as tomorrow if I do one more day. This is supposed to be my room here. Made it livable. Kept a little extra money in here. And all the excessive amounts of ammunition that I've collected. Every time I go out into the wasteland trying to burn through all this 7.62 and shotgun shells, I always end up coming back with more than I went out with. Which is crazy because if you've seen any of the videos I've made, you know I'm going through ammo just like nuts. It's crazy. So here's the main working area. I'm going to turn on my headlamp. This is the spot I use to dump these items here in and then just sort through all of these boxes and dump stuff in. Do I have anything making? No, okay. I've got a sizable amount of food, so much so that I can just eat meat stew whenever I want to. Got plenty of ingredients, and more if I need to harvest it too. I'm doing okay on meds. Ooh, I really didn't know. Let's get all the first aid kits on the bar. Let's grab one of those. Weapons, I've collected an assortment of tier 6. This is specialty ammo. I've got a ton of AP 9mm ammo that I need to burn through. And five boxes of exploding crossbow bolts that I still need to go through. Probably do one last trip out to the wasteland, record a bit more, and just burn through all of this. That's going to take a while, because these are 300 open. 300 per stack. I think I... 300 or 100? Hang on. Oh no, it's 100. Okay. So that's not too bad. That won't take too long. But still. That's a lot of ammunition I need to cut through. I went to the trouble of making it, so might as well. Here's what I've saved up in armor. Some automotive. Ooh, that's right. I need gasoline. Let's take a whole other stack for that next trip. Here's the stuff I was using for construction, a bunch of resources, mods, stuff I need to sell, and stuff I need to use on a red day. Grab that now. Got my cement mixer, my campfire for cooking food, my forge, which has plenty of stuff in it to make other things anything I need, really. And my chemistry station. Normally I'd have these making more glue, but I'm really okay on glue. It's right here. And I've been using those to make exploding crossbow bolts. I don't need any more. I'm, I'm done with this game. Over here, we've got the bathroom. Purely decorative. Nothing in these containers. And the last bit of decoration, an indoor swimming pool. Or at least part of one. This part's a little glitched out because of the pole here. And the way water physics are wonky. And I should have made it one more square deep at least. I forgot how to do water tiles in this game. But, eh, it's doable. We got the lockers here for storing your stuff. A shower right here for after you get out of the pool. And a mirror to freshen yourself up. 
but all in all, I'm quite happy with this. It came out really nice. It actually didn't take that long as far as base building goes. They've really done some, they, the, meaning the fun pimps, the creators of this game, have done an amazing job of streamlining a lot of the creation tools that you have to make your grand designs. So, stuff like this doesn't take anywhere near as long as it used to. And I'm happy for that. I'm glad for this game. I'm happy with it. I have a lot of fun with it. And, as you can see, it's fun just being creative. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed.